Listen, I don't hate Pokemon, but there is so much talk right now about Pokemon, I thought I had to chime in. If you have known me for any amount of time, you know that I'm a Pokemon hater. It doesn't mean I hate the game. It means that I kind of poke fun at it. I never played it. I never had any sort of attachment. Hey Aaron, did you tell everyone you were going to try Pokemon Ranger? I'm not going to try this stupid game. To the show, to the video games, to the cards, to anything like that. So I wanted to take a look at the reveals that we've had in the last 24 hours and kind of give my opinions as someone with no bias, not overexcited, not over hating, just right in the middle as an everyday gamer who doesn't know anything about Pokemon and take a look and tell you if I think it's enough to turn me into some sort of Pokemon fan in the future. Let's see. Oh. We upload videos here almost daily, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and I promise they're not this loose canter. They're actually with a lot more thought and effort put into them, but this I wanted to dive into. So, the first thing I heard about Pokemon is a game called Pokemon Quest. So I went and checked it out. I wanted to see what the buzz was and what was going on, and what I saw was... Crossy Road RPG. I saw Crossy Road the RPG. It looks cool. It looks fun. It looks like I'd enjoy it for about an hour. It's also a mobile game. That's all I can really say about that. It kind of explains itself. Sure, it might be fun. Is it enough to sway me into a Pokemon person? No, not at all. It really isn't. It looks fun, like I said, but that's really about it. It's not for me. This is not for me. The next thing we got seemed pretty interesting, and that's a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Right off the bat, this looks like a Pokemon Go type game, but I guess in the end, it is just a game that can be, doesn't have to be integrated into Pokemon Go, but you have the choice to if you want. Now, this looked cool to me and a little bit more thought provoking because it does have an option for two players and because supposedly it is an RPG style game as well, which I myself would love to to play, but the little turnoffs I had as just an everyday guy who's not a Pokemon guy, so don't don't come at me in any way. I know I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Pokemon. Kidding, you guys know I don't know anything about Pokemon. I didn't really care for the single hand Joy-Con style of play that they were showing off. I am a huge fan and advocate for the Switch Pro Controller. Anytime any game on the Switch, this isn't just a Pokemon thing, is like, hey look, it can be used with one Joy-Con, I'm like, Really, it can? Huh? That makes me think it's like less depth. There's less There's less depth to it, less core gameplay to it. I might be wrong, there might be more to it, but who knows? And the other thing that I thought was bittersweet for me was the use of the Pokeball to play with. Really cool, really fun. I'm sure everyone's dream, just like Star Wars fans back in the day, our dream was to play with some sort of lightsaber. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. That has always been a dream for us, so I'm sure for Pokemon fans, being able to play with a Pokeball is pretty awesome. You can control it one, one finger, you could throw it, you could even take it home with you and like play with it, almost like a Tamagotchi 2.0. So that was cool, but again, for someone like me who is just a core gamer with no attachment to Pokemon is really cool. And I don't wanna use the word gimmick because it's not gimmicky. Oh, it's like no. what Pokemon is based around as a Pokeball, so it makes sense. But I myself was like, Ah, uh, I just want to hold a Switch controller, a Pro controller, in my hand, dual hands, dual analog, and play like that, an RPG style Pokemon game. So again, looking at it from an outside perspective, is this enough? Is this reveal enough? Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, Pokemon, let's go Eevee, is it enough to get me to want to go purchase the game? I wanted to tell you guys a different answer just to please everybody on the internet, but I just feel like lately I've been really plagued and troubled by watching certain people say things that I know they don't believe. I am not gonna say who. I myself can say that I liked it. I thought it was cool. I will buy the game, but probably not for me. I'll probably be buying it for my kids. They're gonna love it. I'm not saying it's a kid's game by any means. I love what it is. I like the graphics. I think it looks fun and that's about it. It doesn't look like something I'm going to be playing for myself, but it will be in my house. Now the good news is for someone like me, because I really do wanna dive into the Pokemon series, is that we're still gonna get that big main series Pokemon 
Pokemon game coming out in 2019. That's what I'm personally looking forward to. It's not bad that we got these. It's cool that we're getting these things extra for any Pokemon fan. These are extra things that you weren't expecting, so that's really cool. And Nintendo, thank you for keeping the Pokemon fans pleased because I know they are out there. I know there are tons of them. I myself with the first three games that you announced, cool. Not specifically for me, but I'll buy them to support my kids' love for Pokemon. There are plenty of people excited about this. A lot of people were confused about this. I know Mikey in our office, he is excited about it. He was texting me last night. We were texting all night about this Pokemon stuff. So it was a really fun conversation to have. But what the conversation I really want to have is with you guys, all of you core Pokemon people out there. Let me know how you feel about these trailers, about what's coming. That's it, you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. Sorry if this was all over the place. This is completely different than what we normally do here. Normally we don't ramble on like this but you know it's Pokemon and uh, I'm on YouTube so go do it quick cuz everybody's talking about it I guess that's what we do on YouTube we just talk about stuff cuz everybody's talking about it yeah. original content <laughs>